A day after a Fort Smith woman and her son were killed, family and friends trying to cope after the big loss in their lives. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 6. I'm Darren Bob. Erica has the night off. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker is live outside of the home where this all took place yesterday morning. Catherine, you spoke to the victim's cousin late this afternoon. Today, more people have come by this house on Tillis Avenue to leave balloons and flowers on the doorstep as a makeshift memorial after three people were killed here yesterday morning. It's going to be really hard. I talk to her every day now. My person's gone. 42 year old Julie Moore and her 15 year old son were murdered at their home on Tillis Avenue early Sunday morning during what Fort Smith police say was a domestic disturbance. Police responded to the scene after calls of screaming and a man being beat with a rock outside. The officer who responded was slashed in the neck by the suspect, who they say is 40 year old Christopher Connor. The officer shot Connor, killing him. Breeze Morrell is Julie Moore's cousin. She says her smile would light up a room. Her laugh would just is contagious. She'd go out of your way for you. She'd tell you how it is. You know, if you're messing up, she's going to tell you. She'd be your biggest cheerleader. She'd give the tightest hugs. And she's, she hugged you with your whole body, and I loved her hugs. A five-year-old was found safe inside the house. Morell says Moore was a great mother to all her kids. I'm going to miss her so much. Just everything about her. She's not just one thing to miss, because she's everything. Bruce yeah, Spinus has owned River City yesterday. Bistro for more than two years now and says Moore was his first employee that he hired. He says she was loyal and someone he could always count on. I think what I'll probably remember the most about her is uh, just being stubborn and sarcastic. She wouldn't put up with much from anyone in a, in a good, funny way. Uh, you know, she uh, she would tease me about my dad jokes. Spinus says Moore will be greatly missed. It's really unfortunate that her kids will have to grow up without a mother now because of uh, domestic violence and how that can spiral out of control into something like this. The suspect did have a history of domestic abuse with the victim. Police say he was arrested for domestic battery back in July. I'm live in Fort Smith covering news where you live. Katherine Gilker, 5 News. All right, Catherine, thanks. Fort Smith investigation is hitting close to home as advocacy groups across our area trying to help people in domestic abuse situation.